Okay, so just to kind of make some clarifications, you will be building and racing your mousetrap vehicles virtually. Okay, so let's kind of look. So I'm logged in and I clicked on that mousetrap thing to get to this point. And I'm going to click engineering to get into there. And this is what the video kind of focused on how to manipulate that. But what I wanted to also show you is how do you know, like, what the specifications are going to be. So for that, you go over, there's this tab that says outputs. And so you click on that, right? It looks like there's nothing there. But over here on the, the uh, thing here, there's your design specifications. So you click on that, and that's going to bring up the design specifications for it. So the frame length, it gives you like between the limits between that. The uh, frame width, total width, and then so forth. Okay, so then once you've got these, right, you can kind of go in and one at a time. So let's look at, if I go back, click over to engineering, and so I'm going to put my chassis there, and if I click the wrench, right, that's how, where I get that information of where, where it is, and that's also where I can kind of, like, change out, you know, the different designs like that, okay, and then it's got, you can, you can paint it, make it look cool if you want to, on there, so you've got that, and so once you, once you decide on that, so say I'm going to do, maybe I wanted to change it, because my, let me go back over to outputs, um, so the length Okay, 3, 305 is the maximum, so I'm going to go back to engineering, and I say I don't want to start at the maximum, let's, I'm going to drop it back, so I'm going to say, let's make it 275 millimeters, so then I click apply, all right, and then I click done, okay, then here we have our front axle assembly. So there's that again. I click on the wrench, and that's going to um, allow me to see what it exists of. So it's steel. Um, I don't have any bearings on it at this time, um, but you can, like, choose the different things here. And, of course, that's going to affect your mass. That's going to affect your um, the, the performance as well. So you can kind of choose. So say I'm going to do a plastic straw and the wheels uh, I'm gonna make them out of CDs for this one okay then okay axle length let me look and see uh, all right axle length uh, is that a rear wheelbase lever arm okay frame width total width so I think the axle length is going to fall under that dimension of the total width, right? Because if I change this, the total width can't be above 145. So if I go back to engineering, right, and my axle length here is 100, and so that's going to be the axle, and then you have additional, like, the width of the wheels. So from like this outer edge of the wheel to that outer edge, I think is going to be your total width of it. So that's where you would uh, kind of look in there. But I can change my uh, wheelbase. Oh, oh, that's the other thing here. Uh, if I see how I did not click apply before I clicked out to outputs. And what it did is when I did that, let me do it again. The changes I made, it went back to the default on there. So you, so before you click off of engineering, if you have to see the, if you want to see the outputs, and actually, what I think might be helpful, all right, is watch this. So if I click on outputs and click my design specs, then I go down here in my little search bar and I pull up the snipping tool. Okay, and do new 
whoops. Oh, all right. And then I'm just going to drag that over there. Okay. All right. And so now in this snipping tool, which let me make it smaller. All right. Whoops. Uh, this window. Uh, okay, so then let me see. All right, so now if I go back to engineering, I'm just making sure if I click on it. So if I put CDs and then I click down here to pull that up. Yeah, see there, that's a way that you can uh, have the specifications there without clicking off of it on there. And that way, if you forget to click apply, it won't, you know, and you want to look at those things. Uh, so, okay, so my CDs and I'll keep, let's see, what was that? That was uh, total width was 145. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, if you're using the screen clipping, the minimum and maximums, those are not going to change. But just remember that, like, this is designed, that is, like, what your current model has. That's a summary of it. And so, obviously, if, if I'm looking at the screen clipping, that's not going to auto-update. So if you want to kind of look at, at how your design is fitting in, which, see how here, the other thing it'll do, if it's out of spec, it's going to highlight it red on there. So that's telling me my rear wheel diameter and my rear axle position are not within specifications. Okay, so let me put that away. And then, so there I do apply and see now I've got my CDs on there. Okay, so you could just step through here and build one and then go to, um, so let me put, put everything on. This is going to be a funky card because I'm just doing it really fast. I am going to build one, and I think that I can leave mine in the competition area so that then you could race against me. And it may do the same thing for yours. This is this one's new to me. So it would be interesting to see. It would be cool if we could race against each other um, on there. So, all right, so let me just pull up all of my stuff here. Whoops. Oh, sorry. The analysis. Okay, that... I don't want all that in there, but that'll that'll let you know kind of how good your design is. And uh, did I forget to do anything? Let's look at my mousetrap assembly. Okay, so this is the whole thing. There's my lever arm, uh, rubber band. Does it have everything on it? Let me go down here and turn this around if I want to rotate it no I don't have a string on there yet it's got a thing for a string whoops all right so let's figure out how do we do that uh, powertrain maybe all right ah here we go okay that's rubber bands around the wheels uh, Lever arm length. What does change in the angle do? Some of this you'll have to just play around with it. Let me see what that does. Oh, okay. It has it starting up there. But now I need the... Hmm. All right. Let's just see what this does. Maybe even though I'm not seeing it, I can't see how to put the... Wait, maybe that's on the rear axle assembly. Let's look at that. Uh, here we go. Wheels, spool. Okay, let's see what that says. And go down and do apply. Uh, I don't know what that did. Hmm. I don't know what that is. 
Uh, oh, it's on the, wait, I'm in the wrong. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I don't want this video to be too long. So hang on, where's the front, front axle, front axle. Okay, here, uh, vertical wheel, CDs. Oh, 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 I see, hang on. Does it put the string on there? I got a spool on there. All right, I don't know if it automatically puts the string on or not, but let's just say done. Okay, now let's go competition. Let me just see how that's gonna do. Uh, oh, I forgot to save it. Uh, let's go back, engineering, and it's an uns I think you have to save it to get it to file, save. Okay, first try. All right, that's a name for my design. And I wanna save a working copy. And then I wanna go back to file, save. I'm gonna save and enter the competition. So let's see what that does. That should put my, yeah, see there I am. So save and enter competition puts it over there. So here's my, and again, I'll just make it race against myself. All right, start. I think this is going to be an epic fail. Okay, so evidently, even though, oh wait, let me stop that. Oh, I guess it replays it. Okay, so let's get out of there. All right, so evidently, even though the string is not showing up here, I guess as long as you put that spool on the axle and have your lever arm there, then it will run. So obviously I have a lot of work to do on this design, but anyway, so I would, your goal is to design, get a virtual design in there. And um, then on Tuesday, hopefully everybody by Tuesday we'll have a one that will run the course and then maybe we can race do some races on there um, so hopefully this helped clarify how this whole thing is going to work and the other thing is there are multiple levels and so I'm thinking what we're going to do is just sort of uh, have you go through and do as many levels all, all the le no, new level is it's going to have a new set of specifications and so uh, go through and complete as many levels uh, as you can and I'll be interacting and maybe we'll do some online racing or something. So we'll see. It's kind of a learning experience. But all right. So take care. Enjoy this beautiful day and have some fun with this.